Hi and welcome back to my channel. We are going to revise outbreak investigation in research and epidemiology. So the following are our objectives. We're going to begin with definitions of terms of outbreak. We're also going to define outbreak investigation. We're also going to state what the investigating team should consider before declaring an outbreak. We are also going to state or mention the objectives, reasons for outbreak investigation. Then we're also going to discuss ways in which um, awareness can be raised in a community in events of an outbreak. We're also going to discuss the importance of managing an outbreak. Our next set of objectives is also going to list the steps for disease outbreak investigation. So in this discussion, I'm only going to list them. If you want a further breakdown, you can let me know by commenting down in the comment section below. I'm doing so in order to avoid to make the video long. Then our next set of objective is, is the actions that we are going to carry out or undertake in an event of an outbreak. Our next set of objectives is, we're also going to discuss the, the functions of an epidemic preparedness committee. Then we're also going to conclude by listing or highlighting the materials that could be mobilized by an epidemic preparedness team in an air force to fight an outbreak. So these, these are some of the things that we're going to discuss in today's discussion. So we're going to begin with one, objective number one. So objective number one is define an outbreak. So an outbreak is an occurrence of more cases of diseases or either health conditions than expected in a given area or among a specific group of people during a specific period. Then the next definition is, or the other definition would be an increase often sudden in the observed number of cases of a disease compared with the expected number for a given place or among a specific group of people over a particular period of time. Then outbreak investigation is defined as a systematic procedure to identify cases and sources of epidemics. We're now going to move to our next set of objective, which is the factors or things that should be considered before declaring an outbreak. So we have number one, the etiological agent. Two, we have the size and composition of the population. Thirdly, we have the season. Then we're also going to state, mention, um, the objectives or reasons for outbreak investigation. So number one, we have to verify the outbreak. Number two, we have to identify and treat additional cases. Number three, we have to collect information and lab specimen for confirming diagnosis. Fourth, we have to identify the source of infection or cause of the outbreak. Five, we have to describe how the disease is transmitted and how the population is at risk. Sixth, we have to select appropriate response activities to control the outbreak. Then lastly, we have to strengthen preventive activities to aviate future reoccurrence of the disease. Then our third set of objective was ways in which to raise community awareness on an outbreak. So we have number one, radio or community um, radio stations. Um, secondly, we have posters. Thirdly, we have television sets. Uh, fourth, we have public address or community gathering. Then fifth, we have drama and role play performances that can be done in schools and communities. Then sixth, we have door-to-door -door, um, messages that can be tailored to a specific community in order to raise awareness. Then our fourth set of objective is importance of managing an outbreak. So our first importance is outbreak management is important as it leads to safety and improvement of public places. Then our second answer would be outbreak management facilitates social and political will as it ensures better health for all people. Thirdly, we have outbreak management is important as it prevents future episodes of outbreaks. For instance, there is identification of infection source. So if due to water source or contamination, members of the community will be taught about the importance of boiling or chlorinating water before drinking. Then fourth, we also have outbreak management facilitates hands-on epidemic management training for new personnel. Lastly, 
We have outbreak management enables prompt treatment of those who are ill, hence breaking the chain of infection, leading to disruption of the reservoir of infection. Our fifth set of objective was to discuss the steps of disease outbreak investigation. So we have number one, to identify the investigation team and resources. Number two, we have to establish the existence of an outbreak. Thirdly, we have to confirm the diagnosis. Step number four, construct case definition. Step number five, identify cases systematically. Step number six, perform descriptive epidemiology, which would include time, person, and place. Step number seven, describe the hypo hypothesis. Step number eight, evaluate the hypothesis. Step number nine, implement control and preventive measures. Step number 10, communicate findings. And the last step is maintain surveillance. Our next set of objective was to discuss actions that can be undertaken to contain an outbreak. So we have number one, community awareness. Number two, we have ensuring safe excreta disposal. Number three, we have ensuring safe water supply. Four, we have controlled burial of dead uh, infectious uh, bodies that might be either human or animal. Then we also have the fourth one, which is activities at the market and funeral should also be controlled in order to reduce the spread. Our fifth answer would be health enforcement measures. Lastly, we would also include controlled water disposal. Let us look at our next set of objectives, which are the functions of an epidemic preparedness committee. So we have number one, they are responsible for assigning staff with specific responsibilities during an outbreak. Therefore, they are tasked to stimulate and coordinate a rapid response team. The second function is that they are a multidisciplinary committee, which is also tasked by the Ministry of Health to identify and mobilize resources to be used during and after an outbreak. Thirdly, they have a task of developing an epidemic control strategy, which acts as a guide in epidemic management. Then the fourth function is that the Epidemic Preparedness Committee is responsible for implementation and monitoring and evaluation of preventive measures. Then we also have they are also responsible for planning and utilizing of resources. They are also responsible or tasked to organize and train and also give orientation of personnel undertaking outbreak management. They are also tasked to ensure reports are prompt circulated to uh, relevant ministries concerning incidences and effectiveness of the measures undertaken to contain an outbreak. Lastly, among a set of objectives was outlining the resource materials that could be mobilized by an epidemic preparedness um, team in an effort to fight an outbreak. So we have number one, print materials, which, which should have key information to prompt health education and communication, abbreviated as IEC, on, on um, things like hand washing and also general, hy general hygiene. The next one is water purification materials, such as chlorine tablets and solution to be distributed to households. Third material would be um, materials for resource emergencies, including the train evacuation, especially in public places like schools and markets. The next one is materials for cholera treatment center, such as hand washing stations, coordinated lime, high test um, hypocrite chlorine. Then lastly, financial resources to pay personnel taking part in investigation and management of patients. So this basically marks the end of our revision in research and epidemiology and the outbreak investigation kindly share the information if you find it useful and also study as much as you can wishing you the very best as you prepare for the exams remember to like and also comment if you have any questions or any specific um topic that you would love me to cover so thank you thank you very much for joining me see you next time